In this Inkscape tutorial, I want to walk through how you can merge objects together and when and how you would do this. So here I've got two vectors. I've got a unicorn, good looking unicorn there, and I've got a circle. They're both vectors, so I can change the colors down at the bottom. I can also click Edit Paths by Node and I can see my unicorn's a vector. When I click on the circle, you can see it's a very simple vector. There's a few different nodes there. So what I want to do now is merge these together. Now the easiest way to do it I'm just going to click on my unicorn, move them over top of the circle, and I can select both. So that's Control A, we'll select both. And if you're not sure if you've selected both, scroll in and you can see there's two outlined boxes right around the images, and that means I've, I've got two images selected. So with both images selected, I'm going to go up to Object and then Group. And when I do that, you'll notice one of the boxes just disappeared. And now I've got just one box. So now when I click it, it's one box, I can move it around as if it's one item. But it's not really one item. And if you want to break it apart again, just simply double click on the unicorn. And you can see now he pops open and I can simply move the unicorn around. Very easy to do. The other way you can do it as well, I'll just select both again and I'll go Object Group. If you want to ungroup this, you can also go up to Object Ungroup. And that will just simply make them back to two squares instead of one square. The second way you can merge things together is using the combine method. And so why would you want to do this? Well, I'll, I'm, going to, I'm going to make the unicorn a bit smaller. I'm going to put him into the middle of the circle just like that. And now what I want to do is combine this into one vector. So I'm going to do Control A. It's going to select all of it. And I'll go up to Path, Combine. And this is a really neat feature because it basically cuts out one of the vectors. So now when I go to Edit Paths by Node, you'll see it's one vector. This is great for a cut file. I can't split them apart easily here. They're all one. And this looks great on a Cricut machine if you're doing digital cutting, that sort of thing. So that's another option. Now if you want to undo this, you go to Path and then Break Apart. And now it looks the same, like it looks as if it's disappeared, but you'll notice there's two boxes. So that's a good sign, right? Two boxes means there's really two vectors. So one was just sitting on top of the other. They happen to be the same color. And here we've got Uni. He's sitting on top of our circle. Now the third one, I'm going to make my circle here a bit smaller. I'm going to put him down here at the bottom. And I'm actually going to make him a shadow. So I'm going to put him right down like this. And I'm going to put my unicorn on top. And I'm going to actually make it one vector now. I don't want one to be cut out from the other. I want it to be one big vector. And so I've got them touching. So here I've gone Control A, select it all, and I'm going to go up to Path, Union. And when that happens, it truly merges them together into one vector. When I go Edit Paths by Node, you'll see it's all one. There's no difference now between the shadow and the horsey. I can't separate them. So this is really nice if you're selling a digital download and you'd like to make it all one design that is not splittable. You don't want to split them out and make things confusing for the client. So that's why you would use this. Now if you purchase a digital download and you're like, huh, I really like the unicorn but I don't like the shadow. Hmm, how can I remove this? Well if you purchased a digital download like this, there may not be a way to just simply select and undo it because you've bought it as is. But I'm going to show you a little tip on how you can slice the vector. It takes a little bit of skill. I'm going to go up here to the Shapes tool and I'm going to click on the square. And I'm going to zoom in quite a bit right to where I want to split the vector between the shadow and the horse. And I'm going to draw a very thin line. And I'm going to make that thin line a different color. So it doesn't matter but I'm just going to pick red just so it's easy to see. I'm going to move this line now down so that it's on top of the horse and the shadow. I'm going to click it again so I can rotate it. And I'm going to make this now sort of as best I can sitting right on top of the rectangle. So this takes some skill because you want to match this up as close as you can. Okay, so I'm happy enough with the way that looks. And now what you want to do is select the square or the rectangle or your little slicer. You want to select the larger object. So I'm holding down the shift key. I've got both selected now. You can see there's a rectangle around the unicorn as well. And now I'm going to go up to Path, Difference. And you'll notice it now sliced off the horse and the shadow. It's now actually still one vector, 
but there's a space now between the two. So when I go edit paths by node, there's still it's still all there. And when I try to move it, it's still all one. But now it at least gives me the option where I can select this vector now and I can go path, break apart. And you'll notice now there's two rectangles. One is around the shadow and one is around the unicorn. So now I can select just the unicorn and move him away. And I can select just the shadow and move him away. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Lots of different ways to combine and a few ways to separate as well. Here's another video on how you can use Inkscape to make some really cool graphic arts.